Hello, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and today I have a video that is going to focus on flattening and forming. You can see here that there is uh, a vase with these hole patterns on it and stitching. And in order to do some of this work, there's some very um, powerful techniques that I can show you. And in order to proceed, I will turn the model back and you will see how this is done. Are you looking to learn CAD software such as Siemens NX or SolidWorks? If you are, our books have you covered. With easy to follow examples and definitions from beginner to advanced, you will almost certainly learn something new. Purchase a PDF or paperback in our store today. So very first thing I did was I created a sketch. And the sketch, very simple sketch. Uh, I then revolved that sketch. I then split the body, split it twice. I distributed some points on the very bottom of one of the sections. And then I put a datum plane on the point and perpendicular to the face normals. Uh, then I used the flattening. So uh, in order to do that, flattening and forming, you go to surface, you go to more, and you go flattening and forming, and you select the face that you want to flatten and form or flatten, and you specify an origin. So I'm going to use that little point. You specify a U direction, so I've got a little line segment over here. And as you can see, it takes that surface and it does its best to flatten it out. And the reason why you can't use unwrap on a thing like this is because it's 3D. It's got a 3D, um, uh, it's, it's three dimensions. It's not something that's just rolled up. It's not developable is the, developable is the term that they use. Okay, so that's flattened. Then I created a bunch of, uh, I created one single sketch on there and I patterned that sketch. So I had a bunch of holes. Um, then I go back to flattening and forming and I pop all those, uh, all this curves that I placed on the flattened board version go on the curved version. Now, in order to do that, you've got to go back to flattening and forming and you have to use it in reverse. Instead of flattening, you go to forming and reuse right here, forming and reuse. And you also select this little button, reverse transformation. And then when you select these curves, they go right back to the original surface. Um, the reason why this is done is because these are now not deformed. The curves are not deformed the way they would be if I just did a simple project. These curves to the best of their ability hold their circularity because we are translating them or we're, I should say we're forming them back from the flat and on the uh, surface. Uh, then I did a divide face and I did a thicken. There you go. There's the thicken. Um, I did some other things, um, some other sketches, etc. Um, to do this, to do the threading. So that's uh, something that I cover in a previous video, how to emulate threads. But then finally, I got it back to the model that you see here, where it looks like leather being stitched with these white stitches. And that is the culmination of these wonderful, powerful, powerful techniques. The flattening and forming um, is incredible. If you didn't have it, it would be very, very difficult to do this kind of work. And I would say that Siemens is, uh, Siemens NX is kind of unique in how easy it is to do that. So there you have it. Again, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. It's a pleasure to do these videos. Please like and subscribe, ring the little bell, and hopefully I'll see you next time online. Thank you.